doesn't, okay? For some reason, I'll come back. And today, we are talking. <laughs> honest, she's such a bitch that she deserved it. I I'm requesting Sarge Mas. Um, I need another couple of books, okay? Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here, and today we are talking about A Court of Silver Flame. It has been one of the most anticipated books for me for 2021, so I was super excited. I love Sarah J. Mass. I, I think I'm missing one of her books, to be completely honest, but I loved it. So if you guys didn't know, this is going to be a two-part video. The first part, I'm just going to kind of give you a synopsis trying to not spoil anything because i have seen some people being really angry on twitter about uh spoilers and the other part is filled with spoilers is my reading vlog where i react to whatever happened including quoting what's in the book so if you don't want to be spoiled or you haven't read the book don't watch the other part um i even said to my best friend don't watch it until you finished your book because we kind of buddy read um she kind of started a little bit later than i did and I just tried to power through. So the book is a continuation to a story that starts in a uh, a, court of, um, a Court of Thrones and Roses, which is kind of how it sold to me as a retelling of Beauty and a Beast. Uh, we have this girl, she kills this wolf that was actually a fae, and as in Beauty and a Beast, the beast comes over to kind of take her away for killing her his friend, you know? And the story unravels from there. So we have those three mortal girls, which is the main girl from this one is Feyre. And we kind of get three books from her perspective and what happens. We also have Elaine and we have Nesta, who is the eldest. And the cold, A Court of Silver Flames is about Nesta. Um, we obviously had plenty of stories and plenty of adventures happening from book one, two, and three. Um, before I try not to say too much about this, it's almost like a, um, it's not a spin-off by any means, but it is said, or it, it shows from a perspective of Nesta, who is the eldest sister. Um, and that is kind of as much as I can tell you guys about the plot without spoiling all three books before and, um, about what happens in the book. So now I, the book is 750 pages, guys. Can we just take a second on how thick this book is can we so let me start off with i seven seven 750 pages it's a long ass book i've expected a lot more from one the hype two sarah j mass and three from the freaking length of the book two i went in with a price well, for some reason it did not click in my head that it's going to be about Nesta because I did not like Nesta. Spoiler alert, I still don't like Nesta. So I went in and it was really, if you, if you guys are going to continue with the reading vlog, you will see that I did not like Nesta, not one bit. And it was really hard for me to read the book for from her perspective, really, really hard. I couldn't kind of, couldn't get engaged um, with that. I give the book in total, I'm gonna give it a four stars because the read all together is fine, especially if you were a Nesta stan, then you'd probably enjoy it. Um, it's very, I would say, in my opinion, character-driven book, and it shows us how Nesta is becoming to, it kind of goes through a process. There are things that have happened in previous books to her, and she's trying to go through uh, the process and discovering herself there is you know she's always been quite uptight she's always been she, she's been the eldest as well so there's things that she needs to work through um and I just I didn't like her it was really hard for me to read another spoiler or not a spoiler the book has a lot more smut than all the other ones before um I think um A Court of Mist and Fury had a little bit but this one is on another level and i think it is because the book went from being a young adult to an adult fiction so that might be a reason why i enjoyed it i like me a little bit of smut but again not as smutty as i would like but also not as i don't know adventure filled as i would like i must admit i if it wasn't sorry g mass if it wasn't a part of the series that i series that i've loved so much i would probably have given up halfway through or like 400 pages in but i'm super happy that i went to the end because the last 100 pages is where 
in my opinion, things have happened I wanted to happen, uh, but it was kind of anticlimactic at the same time. So imagine getting, it's your birthday, and if you could open one birthday gift in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then one at night, you get a certain amount of time to enjoy the present versus if you open three amazing gifts one after the other, you don't really get to appreciate each one for what it is. And kind of that's what I got with the ending of the book for me. Um, I just feel like a lot of conclusions came in in such a short period of time that they didn't get as much action or as much time as they could have gotten if they came out to kind of fourth front a little bit earlier me and my best friend we've been talking about it that we hope that there is a lot more talk about the other sister which is elaine um if you guys haven't read the other books there's few other main characters or like a secondary characters that i would love to know more about so i don't know if that's like a, a starter of spin-offs or anything like that because there's so many characters i would like to know more about their stories and what's happening with them um, so that's kind of the non-spoiler section. Um, it was a fine read. It's just something where if it was 300 pages, I would probably be happier. Um, but I survived it and didn't put me in a reading slump, but definitely dragged where I expected it to be. You know, I won't be able to put it down. Uh, I had a hard time picking it up. My non-spoilery part and then to the spoilery part. So if you guys haven't seen or haven't read the book, then it's probably time for you to bounce and I'll see you in the next video. And for everyone else, let's get to the reading vlog. Welcome back. And today we are talking. Guys, I can't even express how excited I am for her. I received a quart of silver flames. So the book came in yesterday. I had a really bad day yesterday. Um, a lot of um, things to deal with. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have already known. Oh, I really, to be honest, I knew that it's going to be about them. Um, Kind of like the silver flames. That's kind of where I kind of connected that it it probably would be about them. Um, But she was my most hated character. Well, she was second most hated character. The first one was Ianthi. So um, we will see how that goes. I am going to settle myself on a couch in a minute and just start reading. I um, I will be taking breaks. So I will try to maybe catch up with you guys every 50 to every 100 pages be really excited and let's get it be nervous <sighs> let me i have some coffee i have some crisps on the side um i just had a lunch but just in case i get a package it's here was just a flashback to what went through her head or what happened to her when she was being turned into a fae. For you, we are in my reading corner. I have no makeup on. I finished my training. I decided to go and have a quick shower and I am just chilling. So I just finished the first chapter and I know it's about Nesta and this bitch gets on my nerves so much. Um, I understand what she's been through and how she is feeling. That's great that you have, like, you know, some unresolved feelings. But for her to be... She grinds me the wrong way. And now I'm I'm starting to like how Feyre is putting her foot down with everything. Because I think she was a little bit too soft. So I like how she's now being a bad bitch. We like this. Put her in her freaking place. So, so far, like, I am almost having, like, a block... Because I don't like Nesta. If I don't like a character, usually I have such a hard time reading about it. So now I realize the entire book is about her. And I'm hoping that she's going to grow. Because now Cassian told her that they are going to train together. So let's see how that goes. So we are, I think chapter 8 or so. Nesta is driving me insane. She like humiliated Cassian that he can't, like, not control her. But that he can't put her in line when he like works with the entire 
um, armies. Like, she is just a pain in the ass, and I cannot stand her. So it's the 19th of February. I've been really, really slow with my reading. I've had a couple of things to take care of. I had a couple of really, really stressful days. I do, like, I feel so bad for Cassian, and it makes me feel even angrier at Nesta every single time. I do like how everyone's, like called her out and i'm ho hoping that she will like open up she's talking to the priestesses in the library and stuff but i've been talking um on discord with a couple of girls um and they agree with me that she is a hard character and the book is not as quick to read as i expected i just expected that i'm going to sit down and kind of stay on up uh, all night and read so i just finished having my skills practice and i just finished chatting with my sister we let you been on a film for like two hours straight so great times um and now i'm going to sit down and read a little bit i think i'm like 180 pages in or something like that I'm trying to get to 250 i'm having a whole cup of tea and we're going to go from there and kind of see what i think we are now at breakfast after Cassian and Nesta had like a little moment yesterday to go really close to each other go hot and heavy they both had to take care of their needs later on and now they're at breakfast and it's like very obvious that they both feel guilty and you know excited for what happened so let's carry on I'm so excited just finished chapter 19 and if you guys are reading chapter 19 I don't know if I should be excited of course so for someone who was so protective over Elaine now Nesta is being a bitch to her and it's like, oh, everyone protects Elaine. Literally three minutes ago, you didn't even let people be in the same room as her because you were so protective and now you're... But then chapter 19 happens. I just want Cassian to be happy. That's all I can say. Whoever he's going to be with. Or rather it wasn't Nesta, but there we go. I, I need to keep going. I'm currently on part two and I'm chapter 27 so I just finished 26 and I must say that the A Court of Mist and Fury and Wings and Ruin they had some smut in there but it was completely different I know that when the book was first well when the first three books were released they were more aimed at young adults than they were aimed at adult fiction I feel like now it's more of an adult fiction because the way it's written, like, I like my smutty romance. If you guys didn't know, let me... If you guys didn't know, that is one of my, like, favorite of relaxing genres to read. And so it really is getting to that point where it's almost a smut fiction. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. The whole book, it is really hard for some reason for me to get really immersed in it um and yeah it's a little bit annoying to be honest because usually when a book is that big uh, the plot is going to keep you going um i enjoy the smut i'm not gonna lie but that this is just something i didn't expect also i just woke up so <sighs> just finishing my coffee um but that's what i wanted to say yesterday i didn't read much i think i've read all throughout the evening maybe like a hundred pages like I said, really hard, not really that grasping. I've been talking to girls on um, Discord and, and they've been like, you know, I don't want to read it, blah, blah, blah. Just people are not very that excited. So I, it was so hyped up, but now I'm just like, mm. 50 in. And so we found out that they've been very intimate with each other. We found out that uh, Feyre is pregnant with a baby. And it's a baby boy, but he has wings and there isn't really many females that have survived the birth of a child that had wings. So that's a little scary. Um, Nesta had a little meltdown and now we were in, a, in, in an office, like they had a meeting basically. And the power was kind of like consuming her, her and Cassian stepped in, kissed her and brought her back basically. So... So we are just on chapter 52. So we got through. Oh, what's her name? Nesta was called into the house, blah, blah, blah. But she just found out. Oh, they were fighting. So her, Gwen and the other lady, they were all training. And they were like, oh, what would you call the sword? What would you call the sword? So they're like kind of going back and forth. Oh, 
what is going on so they're going back and forth and then Cassian is really pushing on like why why would like what would you call it? and she's like why do you ask and he's like well because you've created three magic weapons blah 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 we didn't want to tell you kind of thing and she's like why and he's like we vo voted so she got pissed off got down the 10,000 steps um to get down and she went into the river house where Amran is and where Feyre was. And so she's like, Amran, I thought that you would have been my friend. And she is going at, at her. Um, and she's like, I stopped being your friend when you gave up on everyone else. Um, she's like, you picked Feyre. And she's like, no, I didn't. I give her respect. And she's like, so are you going to tell me the respect is not telling her that the baby with the wings is going to kill her? And Feyre heard and she's like, yeah, they tell you that they are all your friends. But there you go. And she's like, in her face made Feyre so upset and um then she left Rysand was fuming so he told Cassian get her out of the town before I kill her which to be honest a little over exaggeration but to be honest she's such a bitch that she deserved it so they went in on like this seven day hike or something like that where to start with they didn't talk then she broke down saying that she hated herself and that that was really almost really really touching part when she so she kind of opened up about how she feels about herself, how guilty she feels over everything. And then he told her, there's nothing broken to be fixed. You're helping yourself. Even by just acknowledging that you feel bad about it means that you care, which is a good thing. And I'm going to be there all the way to help you out. So awesome. We have literally this much left. So as you can tell, I've been, uh, I've been better with um, tabbing it this time. I still have probably like 200 pages to go so we will see how today goes i'm just editing a video we just moved some furniture and exciting times hey guys so today is the 23rd 23rd and so this has taken so long for me to read i have watched mallory's i think uh vlog and how excited she was because she loved nesta and I am having such a hard time reading this book. For some reason, it's just it's not doing it for me. I really wanted to love it. And I am really trying to follow by the characters and, you know, see why Nesta is the way she is. But to be completely honest, I just cannot get along with her. Um, I see little changes and that's fine. Um, I am currently on chapter 57. So we have the Winter Solace now happening and... Nesta is made to dance with Ares, or whatever his name is. I think that's his name. Uh, is the guy from the Autumn Court. Um, as Because when she was 14, she won like this proposal from this um, um, lord or someone like that before. Uh, just basically after one dance with her. Apparently, she's that good of a dancer that, you know, she's just that good. So now she looks like a million dollars. And she's now being put into dance with him. So we're going to do a little speed read now. And Nesta smirked back at him, letting his eyes glitter, make him crawl more sad. And she would first, first, she would dance. There is a part of me that does like how vindictive and how bitchy Nesta can be because I feel like a lot of them they kind of go into the politics and, you know, maybe like it shouldn't be said or whatever. But Nesta has that bitchy side to her where she, maybe because she really just didn't care or whatever. But I, I, So I do that. I do like that part about her where and she put the priestess in her place. And when she is just mean to someone, I really like it because I feel like I'm a little bit like that sometimes. And I feel like a lot of people could benefit from being a little bit more bitchy. But then I just don't like, I understand PTSD. I just don't like the victim playing for most of the time. I'm guessing we're going to find out why she was always so angry and why angry at other people instead of just being angry at herself. I don't know. We can talk about this when we finish the book. So let's keep going.
Marissa goes, you showed me what I can have, Rice, and I am intrigued enough to ask what you want in return. And Reese goes like, what do you mean? And he goes, I mean that whatever you want, I will give it to you in exchange for her as my bride. <laughs> Sir, you're not ready. Why would you vo voluntarily make yourself have her as a wife? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Don't wish Nesta as a wife on anyone that isn't Cassian. I, I also don't wish her on him because I want him to do better. But Jesus Christ, why would you voluntarily go for her? And then he goes, it's a bonus, of course, that I'm doing this. So I would be repaying Cassian for ruining my uh, betrothal, my marriage with more, more basically, because Cassian and more have been intimate before more got married to Arius. Um, because she wanted to pick who she was going to do it with and she knew that if she's going to do it with a bastard and a lyrian not a high fae she's going to be kind of ruined so yeah reese goes i'll consider it i'll talk to nesta but maybe keep that sword because you'll probably need it so cassian got her like this a device a silver orb that holds a well, he says that it's a symphonia, a rare, a rare, a rare device um, from Helion's court. It can trap trap music within itself. So he went back to the waltz that she danced, and then went to his to her favorite taverns for the music and captured it in. Ooh, so she can re-listen to it whenever, whenever she feels like. Yeah, she thinks that she is not good enough. She doesn't deserve him because she doesn't. Okay, he is too nice. Ugh. So yeah, I'm just explaining to uh, the boyfriend what has happened. So basically, Nesta, Emery, and Gwen have been taken into being in the um, blood rite, or however it's called. Um, and we know, we know that Nesta, she is in her habitat, okay? We know that she has no problems being a bitch. So there was this guy, he tried to like attack her, and... What she did, so she had a knife. Oh, that's another thing. There's... Oh, he's, he stopped? No, no, no. There's no weapons. and But they thrown weapons in there. So she found this knife. And this dude, like, he has 100 pounds on her. He's six foot something. And she's she's a skinny lady. So they're he's trying to attack her. And they're, like, tumbling down. And she straightened his neck. She left him, stripped him naked, took all his clothes. At the end, ripped the knife out of his throat. Threw her, because she was just in a nightgown throw out his face and left like just left him naked just just there like no fucks given like that's why as much as i don't like her we know that she is thriving she's she, every single traumatic experience she had every kind of pain that she's been through she's like stop 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 everyone she is going to be she has same um she has no problems just being like you think you can play me like this bitch no you can't so you say so we have the girl so I just wanted to mention something. It was, it was chapter 68. Um, it made me tear up. So if you guys are, any female that's reading this, it's going to touch on your heartstrings. So just be really careful. And it was really, really hard. So what Nesta did, so following on from that, they were trying to make it to the top and because Gwyn was injured, so what they did, she basically made her pass out. And uh, Emery, I think that's her name, don't quote me on that, um, carried her over. And they actually won the blood ride because she carried her on top. But it's actually the Valerian, one of the queens, she is actually in control. And she was the one to do it all um, to get the girls to actually be in the ride. And she had Cassian now under this spell. Um, because she's wearing the crown, so she wanted him to kill Nesta, and she just gave an order kill against the crown's hold, against the grasping of her. He chose to drive the knight into knife into his own heart. I cannot. My heart is breaking. Oh, and then it says the knife plunged for his chest. Uh, Nesta erupted with the force of the cauldron. And like, I'm scared to finish the book. It's making me so sad now. I went from really not liking it to being like, oh, like, I like 
how things are changing to now just being like, I'm tired, I'm sad. So Ares is safe, blah, blah, blah. Now it's Feyre. Of course, you left it to last couple of pages. If there isn't a next book after this, I need, um, oh, what's her name? Elaine's story. And I need to see Feyre's child grow up because otherwise, I need another book, okay? I, I'm requesting Sarge Mas. Um, I need another couple of books, okay? Thank you. So, basically, she went into labor a lot quicker, and it seems like the baby is stuck somewhere along the way, um, and they want to cut it out, but most likely, either the baby will die or she would die, and if she dies, um, like, she made this pact with Reese that they die at the same time kind of thing, so they all die, um... So, um, guys, if you want to cry, just skip to chapter 77 because, um, I can't. Maybe we don't hate her anymore, okay? Maybe, maybe we don't mind her at this point, okay? Um, but I need to go and work out and I don't want to be, um, all cried out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop now and continue later on. So to tell you guys, after you've seen everything that I've been through with this book, it, it did give me everything, okay? I cried, I was happy, I was frustrated. I hate Nesta. From the beginning, I could not get along with her. I just think that I understand the PTSD of what happened. I understand that she's always had kind of like her mom and the way she brought her up obviously was toxic in some ways. But like being angry at Feyre for, you know, providing and she's like, I was just angry. Oh, the fucking hold the grudge with yourself, not with her. And uh, I just I couldn't connect with her. Um, I feel like the book was way too long for what it was and I hated the the ending was where all the action happened for me but also how quickly everything it was so anticlimactic in my opinion I need Elaine's story also is she going to be with Az or she's going to be with Lucian please tell me I need a spin-off of that um I also need more of more because me and my best friend, we just talked about this, that she just comes across like a bitch. There's a couple of one-liners of hers and not much happens. Aries, I think that's his name. I kind of need him to actually tell me what happened with the situation with Moore because we know that he left her to death. But what was the reason? What was the reason? I need to know. So, and then we obviously have, uh, what was his name? Nyx. I, I need the whole story. So I am really, really hoping that we're going to get another, um, maybe a series or spin-off series. That's kind of what we are uh, hoping for me and my best friend. We were kind of theorizing last night saying, oh, maybe it's the beginning of like a new spin-off series or something like that. Because we obviously know the Nesta, Gwen and um, Emery, I think that's that's her name, that they became Val Valeries, Valkyries or something like that, the, the little warrior princesses people i don't know the little female um illyrians basically or equivalent so will we get a spin-off of how they work will we get like a whole female driven story of theirs which i i would probably read i would i would like to read more um we got like the gwyn's story about her being half a nymph or something like that like why didn't we get more it was just like a cliffhanger so i feel like there was a lot of cliffhangers for me personally so I'm hoping that we're going to get more books. So Sarah J Maas, please, can we get another um like three or four? That would be great. Thanks. Thank you. Um. So yeah, I all together, I went into the book with the hype. Did not realize it was about Nesta. Went through a lot of reading time where I just thought, Jesus Christ, this is dreading. And then finished, and I was like, well, I need more now. So. I don't know if that was the um, wanted outcome, but that's what happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you've read it. Let me know what did you think? What was your favorite part? And we can go from there. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.